What is up, my lovely Cancerians? This is Vicky from Valkyrie Tarot coming at you for your love and soulmate reading for the first half of June 2020. Uh, I want to start out by apologizing. I know I'm a couple days late, but um, if you guys are like me, the energies uh, this week have just been so negative and so off, and I just was not feeling the readings, and I want to make sure I could give you guys a reading that was actually, you know, something that you wanted. Um, that being said, what do you say we just get to it, huh? Sorry, I apologize. My watch is going off. I literally just got an Apple Watch yesterday, so I'm not used to it. I don't know how to shut it off, so. Uh, Ten of Cups in reverse and the Five of Wands. Uh, so there might have been some conflict or something between the two of you, and this might have been something that you saw of as a emotional fulfillment emotional be all end all but um you know the conflict kind of caused you to end this relationship for some reason all right here we go first card is you Six of swords in reverse all right so you're still kind of in some turbulent times you're dealing with some rough seas right now could be you know personal anxieties or in relationship to this um this situation you'll know as this all kind of, kind of comes out your loved one is in the ace of wands energy so ace of wands is all about a passionate new beginning or it could mean a new job or a new job opportunity okay uh energy between the two of you is the emperor aries energy uh, the Emperor is all about control and structure and foundation, okay? In reverse, the Emperor can actually be someone who's manipulative or, um, you know, power happy. But in the upright, the Emperor represents masculine, the divine masculine energy, but it also represents structure, formality, um, steadiness, and um, an intent to build, okay? the challenge between the two of you is the page of wands so communication motivation uh page is all about messages sagittarius energy generally but it can be any fire sign um and this is again this is um it's it's a motivation to move forward but it's a small motivation it's an offer of communication um you know either towards passion in a relationship or just communication in general to kind of get the the ball rolling the blockage between the two of you king of cups all right so, sorry scorpio energy king of cups in the upright this is one of the best cards you can get in the deck this is someone who knows what they want they're steady they're focused they i'm sorry one second my apologies uh, that was work <laughs> All right, so getting back to it. Um, so the King of Cups, this is someone who knows what they want. They're stable. They're able to express their emotions. Um, they're in a relationship. They're the ones that'll go above and beyond to make sure that their partner is happy and taken care of. All right. The, um, a past situation currently influencing you, Cancer. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. Knight of Cups is all about an offer or a movement towards emotion of some sort so the knight of cups can be friendship it can be love or it can be an apology we're going to see how these other cards all lay out but in general that's where we're at right past situation from your loved one's point of view We've got the hierophant all right hierophant is taurus energy uh hierophant is higher learning this is someone who's very spiritually you know driven someone who might be a little bit higher educated Someone who's kind of seen as wise. This is also someone who enjoys traditional values. So they like going through the norm. Okay, they like being part of the norm. They like following tradition. Outcome from your point of view. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Not wanting to work together or an imbalance, a third party imbalance related to work or family. Because the threes in reverse are third party energies. So when we see the three of cups in reverse, it's generally like an emotional imbalance, like um, either cheating on someone or seeking emotion outside of the relationship. When I see three of pentacles in reverse, this is a third party energy where 
your energies are being focused towards things outside of the relationship. Not always cheating, but your energies are going towards work or family issues, okay? Outcome from your loved one's point of view, wheel of fortune in reverse. So a stall in the karmic cycle, kind of feeling unlucky, feeling like they're not on their path completely. Um, it could just mean that the time just isn't right right now for the two of you. Overall outcome in between, we have the hermit card in reverse. So no longer kind of being pulled away. This could mean that if the two of you are not currently in communication, that there will be communication moving forward. You might kind of come out of your caves you've been dwelling in during this pandemic and, um, you know, find a way to communicate to each other. Energy under the deck is you. We got the high priestess in reverse. So the high priestess in reverse is someone who is not communicating. This is someone who is not, um, you know, comfortable in her own thoughts or in her own feelings. So she's completely shut off. She can't trust her own intuition. So she's not trusting anyone and she's just staying quiet. Okay. Tower energy. Okay. So you are in a tower moment right now and you can't seem to find your way out of it. That's what's causing the turbulent turbulence behind you. Yeah. And you're totally in a lack of balance. Could be a financial lack of balance or it could be an actual um, <clears throat> just emotional lack of balance because of this tower moment you're dealing with. Yeah, your loved one over here is in the Knight of Swords. So they're communicating something swiftly. Cold. Not really emotional. Knight of Swords is fast. It's kind of like the Knight of, uh, Knight of Wands. Yeah. Not having a wish come true. So your loved one over here, whoever you're thinking of, I think that they are moving on towards a passionate new beginning with someone else. And they're going to communicate to you that um, whatever happened between the two of you, this wasn't this wasn't their wish come true with with whatever happened. Uh, well, let's let's see what's happening here though. What's the emperor energy? Four of cups in reverse. Yeah, leaving realizing that somebody was left behind, not having forgiveness. Yeah, that six of cups is the soulmate card. Queen of Pentacles over here in reverse and the hangman in reverse. All right. So right now, the energy that you're in is somebody is trying to maintain structure. Somebody's trying to take control of a situation because they have, they realize that there's a lack of forgiveness here and they feel like, um, either tossed aside, you know, that four of cups feels like rejection. Um, or if this is you, you might realize that this is the one that got away. Um, and it's because of whatever happened in the past here that there wasn't forgiveness, okay? The challenge between the two of you is there, there is communication, but it's a small communication, but there is no want at a commitment in this relationship, and someone's trying to see things from a different point of view. Pisces energy. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is um, Taurus energy, or not Taurus energy. Yes, Taurus energy, sorry. What's this? So the blockage is the King of Cups. The blockage is somebody who wants commitment. Okay. Oh, all right. So we have the Emperor again in reverse. So that's a controlling type of nature. So somebody feels felt controlled. Yeah. Somebody felt controlled. Uh, the Magician in reverse is also a manipulative type of energy. It's Virgo. It's trying to... It's not having all of the tools at their disposal, but trying to like force or manipulate the person to follow them. And then the six of swords to be able to move out of these rough seas into calmer waters. So that's you, you're the six of swords. So in the past, you might've actually tried to manipulate this situation to your favor. Um, I think that there was definitely love here, but you tried to manipulate the person and I think they read into it and they were not, a, they were not about being manipulated is what happened. And I think you're kind of in that, oh God, what did I do? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So your Knight of Cups here, that's an off, that's a forgiveness. That's a feeling of forgiveness. It's a movement towards forgiveness because you realize that there was an instability. Um, you wanted a stable new beginning, but it wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, and you're trying to recover from feeling left out in the cold or feeling abandoned, or you realize that you, you did this to the other person, either way. Your font. Four swords, resting, recuperating, healing. 
from something. What are we healing from? Wow, that's a lot of cards, but this is going to be the one. Healing from the breakup. Yeah, your loved one's healing from the breakup um, between the two of you. Gemini energy with that lover's card. So in the future, you're, I think you're married to your job here. Yeah, Queen of Cups. There's emotion. There's a communication of affection here. And that hair font. Wow. So I think what you're going to say is in the future, there's going to be communication between the two of you. There's going to be this confession of love, affection, and the recognition that there was something here between the two of you, that you realize that there was something solid between the two of you, but you can't offer it right now in the future because you're, it's almost like you're married to your job. Like that's, that's really what I'm reading here. You're married to your job. Your loved one here. King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Capricorn energy and temperance. Your loved one is stable and ready. Um, temperance is a twin flame angel. Okay, so this is someone who's all about balance, who is spiritually balanced. They are emotionally balanced. They are ready. They are ready. But that's to clarify the... Um, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. So they're ready, but the timing isn't right right now. The The timing is not right right now. And that's that's really unfortunate. All right, so what's this hermit about in the future? Between the two of you. So you're both coming out of your things. The Fool, Aries Energy. So this could mean moving on or taking a blind leap of faith, depending on what else happens. Ooh, Six of Wands. Someone's realizing their ego got in the way here. And that, yeah, Ace of Cups is not having a new relationship, not moving on. Five of Wands, this is somebody letting go of conflict or letting go of perhaps there was an extra party in this situation. Yeah, and then the Knight of Cups. I, Pisces again. I feel like this Knight of Cups, which is in your past, it could have been them coming in to communicate something, or I'm more feeling that it's you and your feelings that might have not actually been communicated, but you were feeling them. Because um, you don't have any, you don't have any swords over here, so there's no actual communication. Your loved one over here has the swords. Um, yeah. I see that this is a person from the past. Something must have fallen apart between the two of you and you're realizing that they were the one that got away. You were realizing that they're, I think you're afraid that they won't forgive you. But someone was manipulative in the past and whatever that three of pentacles is in reverse is really probably what impacted a little bit of this uh this breakup between the two of you but this is someone from your past and they're dealing with this breakup this ending of your union but they are stable and they are ready to give energy under the deck is the queen of wands in reverse so somebody's feeling insecure it might be you cancer um you're just feeling insecure about coming forward but i think what you need to do is you need to put your ego on the back burner and you need to apologize is what it looks like or there needs to be like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about this. There needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about this because I think your loved one's ready to move on to somebody else. Yeah, death ending winter. So it could have had something to do with the winter or it could just mean that this is the end of this. Like, because nothing has been, you know, like nothing, nothing was discussed. Nothing was dealt with. It was like such a stagnant energy. The tower moment came down and it's almost like, you know, it's been too, it's been too long. Yeah. You got the spirit of the dwelling place, home, structure, foundation. So, so everybody's kind of like stuck at home right now. I get that. But frozen, delayed, and longing. I, I'm, I'm picking up that if you were waiting, like taking your time to work through something, you waited too long or they did. My family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realized. So that's what your loved one is sending to you. That's their higher self, their message to you. Get some energies from that. Give your relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Whoa, too many. We'll take the one that popped out that way. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. 
All right, so if there is something residual here that y'all are hanging on to, I think you need to take some time. That hermit mode, you know what I mean? Like you, you need to take some time, you need to figure it out. Your insecurities towards how you feel about this person are definitely impacting what happened between the two of you. I think the issue is that your loved one, I don't think knew how you felt, how you really felt, okay? Cancer, you're a deep water sign, but when you guys are hurt or when you're overwhelmed, you completely shut down. You go into your shell and no one knows what happens in that shell, okay? And it's it's hard for the people on the outside, okay? All right, my lovely Cancerians, you know I love you to death. Uh, I really hope that this resonated with you guys. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. If it didn't, it's totally cool. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Enjoy the full moon tonight, full moon in Sagittarius, Strawberry Moon. Uh, it's all about, you know, living your passions and, you know, ironing out the details in life. Okay, so good luck. We're all going to need it. Please stay safe out there no matter where you are on the globe. I'm sending you positive vibes. Deuces.